Hi, I'm Jaime from Eagle Properties in Rochester, Minnesota. Today we're talking about smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors. The question I get most often is where and when do you need smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors? Smoke detectors are needed in every building in Minnesota, in every level of the building, and in every bedroom if that building has habitable spaces. If you have a sleeping area that is not a legal bedroom, like a loft or a den, that area should also have a smoke detector. There's also a requirement to have a carbon monoxide detector. These units um, should be installed within 10 feet of bedrooms or sleeping areas in any house or building that has a combustion appliance to generate heat. That is a gas fuel or propane fueled water heater, furnace, or a heating device. Electric uh, heating does not require a carbon monoxide detector. There are two types of smoke detectors. One is the ionizing smoke detector. This is the older technology that is uh, well known and it is inexpensive. This unit costs about $5. And there is the photoelectric smoke detector. This unit costs about $15. But these are the newer technology that has an LED as a sensor. And it also lasts, uh, the battery lasts a lot longer. And it gives a lot fewer uh, positives. This one was known to actually go off whenever we overcook something in the kitchen while the newer ones do not. Another question I get is whether you should have a combination carbon monoxide detector and smoke detector installed. I always recommend to have the two units separate. When installing the two units separate, the carbon monoxide detector needs to be replaced every five years after the date of manufacturing, while the smoke detector can last for 10 years after the date of manufacturing. This is not only a cost saving, but also a way to reduce uh, electronic waste. One of the biggest disadvantages of the photoelectric sensor is that it will go off whenever there is a lot of steam. So if it's located in the hallway right in front of a bathroom, make sure to turn on that exhaust fan so that the steam from the shower will go out before it trips the photoelectric smoke detector. Uh, beyond that, I would usually recommend relocating the smoke detector to a location that is away from kitchens away from bathrooms, but closer to bedrooms. When inspecting smoke and carbon monoxide detectors, the first thing is operation, making sure that it works. The second thing is the expiration date. And the third thing is the location. Installation location is important. It should be no less than four inches from the ceiling to the top of the unit or from the sidewall to the side of the unit and no more than 12 inches below the ceiling height. If you have a vaulted ceiling, the location should be a similar consideration. There are inexpensive units that you could probably purchase from China or a different source country. However, those units might not be the ones that you can trust your life in the event of a fire. Always look for a unit that has the UL listing or ETL listing mark on the packaging. It should also be on the unit itself. These units are typically tested to last and perform the way that they are expected to. What has your experience been with smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you.